an empty seat waits for a bottom to meet it. And that bottom is going to be mine. So this is either going to be wondrous timing with all of this rumbling thunder behind me and I'm going to just miss this storm that they've pronounced as a flash flood warning here or it's going to be absolutely terrible timing and I'm going to have set this all up and my little talismans and beads won't protect me from the storm and it will rain upon me. I wanted to show you how amazing these pants are. Look at the amazement of the pants. You can do a pants dance in these pants. They are very flowy. And if you take a chance, you can dance in these pants all day. This is a really cool set from, I think it's from the 40s or the 50s. And the thunder is definitely making me wonder if I should have filmed right at this moment. But it's okay, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> And uh, it's making for some cool background noise, and I hope you enjoy it, goyles and boys. Um, yeah, I'm just perched on a huge, um, it's like a, a tire that they would put like a sand, a sand pit, is that what you call it? A sand, what the hell do they call those things on children's playgrounds? Sand playing area. My goodness, what the heck is it called? Sand trap? That is, that's golf. Um, sand bar? <laughs> sand play place? You know what I'm trying to say. They would, they would use a big old tire like this for a sand hangout jam spot for the kitties, for the kittles. Um, and it came with the house and it once had flowers in it and we have not kept up with the flower in the tire. Um, we just, yeah, we let all those flowers expire, but it's a cool tire thing, thingy-majig that I'm sitting upon on my cute little seat within, woven into the leaves. So, yes, yes. Another day of poetry, you best believe. And I am just being surrounded by the another good word that rhymes with thunder. I guess it's a w hard one. Wonder, blunder, asunder, uh, hunger, kind of. Yes. I just fed my hunger with a turkey sandwich and I can't think of the name of the sand pit. And through my hunger, I heard the thunder. Worst poem ever. I picked a poem today that had buzz in it because I was... Oh my! <laughs> well, let's get through this poem. Um, I was inspired by how much that we have like a, a canopy of leaves over our, our porch, our deck thing. And um, you've pro I've filmed in front of it many times, the creeping vine of leaves. There are so many bees in it, and when I went out this morning and it was so hot, the buzz was profound. It was like such a sound. And so I was going to use that as my backdrop, but then it got windy and, and blustery and... Um, oh, and my pup is so flustery. He's so flustered and scared of the storm. Hi, buddy. It's okay. Mom is doing poetry and I'll come right back to hold you. He pants and shakes and has the hardest time. So I gotta go be with my buddy, my little my little cuddly bud here soon. But um, you know, velvet and flowy stuff just seemed to be a, a fine substitute. Um, and there are buzzing machines as there always are. And there's the buzz of hopefully not too much lightning, but definitely some. Uh, some very mighty announcement. The announce the the morning announcements of the gods were into the afternoon. The afternoon announcements over the loudspeaker of the gods, giving us some 
very, very loud thunder. But isn't this, I don't want to like get too boobalicious here, but isn't this a cool set? This little set that I'm wearing? It's like, they just don't make them like they used to. But velvet also seemed a very, this is like a velvet sock puppet character. Hello, I'm very sensual. I'm a velvet character. Okay, stop messing around. The thunder is intense. So this one, uh, I took various scraps written in my time in LA and smooshed them together in a poetic way because um, they were all like little pieces of fear and thought and mostly the, the through line of this is power dynamics and abuse of power, people holding power over you, the way you feel like you can never break through in a place like that without having to um, get spat on in one way or another, just uh, being kind of smothered and used and bruised, uh, ego or otherwise, um, having to deny your mind's eye because you're like, no, no, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And most of the time, he's not. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Thunderama. Okay. So this was pieces put together of a life weathering the storm in LA. It's called Electric Buzz of What Was. Don't know what's worse, the timing or anticipation. Don't know what came first, the writing desk or the raven. Don't know if this thirst is just plain placebo craven, or if it could be drought shaking, boot quaking rain. Still the same dirty doubt always just thrashing about, breaks right in and trashes the place. Blowing in, light up your stash, blow it in my face. Cause it'd be a waste if they caught us now. How much tension will the ribbon draped fates allow? To write the sweetheart poems before the call comes? Of course I will. Spilling pocket wishes like thistle seed as I weave the tawny grass path. Colorado smells like honey. Pinyon green, summer bridge kisses as you whisk up fresh heart juices. Control seduces the useless. You're suited up far out, out ocean's way. You sway energetic beauties in a delirium beneath your suede, well-lit stage of a face. Lucky me, I guess, to have tasted it. Swiftly replacing all my favorite foods, I feel rude for neglecting every single thing besides you. The precipitation brews. The color gradation is a tangible sight after seeing your lighthouse eyes that night. You had your face brights on me, high beams. I'll take the oncoming numbing effect of your direct attention. Not to mention how blatantly clear I make it that I want to hear the secret strumming of little songs you'll never give away so easily. Want you to say things in my ear that would get a schoolboy's knuckles smacked by a ruler. Hollywood always adding and subtracting names of those who have made the cut and those whose confidence is used as a sealant for the freeway ruts. The electric buzz of what was and what was and what was is a story only sometimes compensatory. The condensation forming droplets dramatically, apprehensively, we take the lead and feed each little mouse waiting pensively to the patient serpents who pretend to be allies. Eager to comply and pulled by God power, the odd choir boy both seeks and applauds penance. The tenant of a building with too many stories to count conversely laughs at guilt as he sordidly unbuttons her blouse. He is no louse who is soused by the slippery swerve of the sharp unexpected curve that leads to eaves dropping heavy apples from that tree. 
Said she to he simply, Opsimathy is fine by me. Eager seeds, learn it late, but learn it, please. Just take a bite and seethe in your snakish spree. Shake, shake the life leaves. Shake, shake the life leaves, the birthed breeze. And you just go right on and blame it on me. And then that pretty Eve, now this was all ad lib, whispered, I am the mother star, and it is you who envies my ribs. It is you who envies my ribs. Yes, my dark water love can be a gateway drug. You may even feel them heart sinews being tugged. And I know you'll have none of that. If you felt the pull, you'd have the main line snipped and snapped in seconds flat. Put on your shiny spats. We're going dancing at the speakeasy. Ah, oh, just one kiss. Pretty, pretty, appease me. Utter upheaval. It's fucking medieval, people. The terrain goes from jagged to steep to suddenly putting you to sleep. It's so predictable and dull. Cull the useful parts and strain the heart right out of it until it's a big, big blockbuster hit. Strain the heart right out of it until it's a big, big blockbuster hit. Whee! these pants though I mean come on that pants dance that pants dance it just makes you want to do a pants dance that pants dance that pants dance you gotta do a pants dance yep so that's my stance on the matter I'm very lucky that my memory didn't start barking at me because I didn't delete my thingamajiggy from yesterday I gotta get myself a new phone but that's Something I just don't want to have to deal with, see? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I think there's a storm a brewing. We'll just see what what the gods are up to. Oh, baby's in his little baby sling. I gotta go be with my, my thunder scared little pup. He don't like it very much. So I'm gonna go clutch him tight and give him kisses. And there was my poetry that I was dishing. And I'll bring you something delicious tomorrow. Okay. Adieu. Parting is such sweet sorrow.